next star, who is Janine Sinopel, and hopefully I haven't slaughtered her name. She's a clinical supervisor, and uh, unlike Abby, she's not a newbie. She's in her eighth year at CARD. Uh, and what they say about her, that she has never been shy to jump in during a crisis, from helping new families at new centers to consulting on complex cases. Janine is always ready to do what she can to help patients and their families. She is committed to quality, holding herself to the highest standards and setting the bar high for her peers. Janine has made an impact across more than five centers at CARD from Chicago to California. She is a tremendous clinician and leader, and they say we are truly blessed to have her on our CARD team. I can't wait to talk to Janine. Janine, are you there? I am. Hello. Janine, congratulations on being a CARD star, and thank you for being here and for being so amazing. Well, thank you for having me. So it sounds like your influence has spread wide and far, but where, tell us about what you do right now and what, what offices you're working out of right now. Yeah, um, I'm in the Westmont office in the Chicagoland area, and I am the clinical supervisor here. Um, I also have a case out in Naperville and Crystal Lake that I'm helping out with. Well, um, and I, from what I understand, you're somebody who's one of those people, you, we call it carditude around here, that there's like an attitude that people have that's a carditude attitude, which is a can-do attitude, and that you're willing to jump in and that there's no issue that's too big, uh, that you're, you're willing to jump in and take it. What gives you that, that like oomph so that you are willing to take on things when they're hard? I do it for the kids. You know, it's all about the kids here and we you know, work hard for them. So that's, I guess that's what's my reasoning is. I, I love it when, because uh, it's, it's amazing to us sometimes as parents, you know, that the idea of being around children who tantrum is not my idea of a fun day, right? Like, you know, like, but I see you guys get so excited by different things. It's like you do something and then the kiddo changes what they're doing and it's like this magic happens. What's the moment for you, Janine, when you knew I want to do this forever? You know, do you remember? I, think, um, I don't remember the exact moment, but I think working with the child or even an adult and you're working on something, you're working on a skill or you're trying to decrease the behavior. And then all of a sudden, like they get that skill. That is the most rewarding thing. And I think that's why we come back every day and yeah, the days are hard and we deal with the problem behaviors. But, you know, once they get that skill or once you see those behavior graphs go down, it's the most exciting thing and you keep going with it. So. I love that you guys geek out over that. Oh, I yeah. love that. You know, can I just say to the caregivers out there, sometimes, you know, when, when you're starting your child doing ABA and, and it feels like, oh my gosh, you know, this is my child. I want to spend every moment with them. And then you have these people come in that in, in the first moment, they're strangers. And somebody said to me recently, they were like, I don't understand. You know, I know you, Shannon. I know how paranoid you are. It seems odd that you would let complete strangers be working with your kiddo. And I, I said to them, but they're, you know, 10 minutes, they're not strangers. They get so excited about your child making progress yep. that you guys become family to us. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we, we feel like you guys are our family too, because we're in your homes every day or you're, we're working with your kids every day. So it's, it's the same thing. And the other thing is, is that, that I'm always amazed at is that you get our kids and you like them. Oh yeah. Which is a fabulous <laughs> Well, you know, Janine, everyone doesn't. Yeah. And that's that's the sad reality for a lot of us is yeah. that we come in the door and say nobody, including family members, nobody wants to be around our kiddo. And you guys, our kiddos come through the door and you guys light up like Christmas trees. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Well, Janine, so how did you tell us how you came to find card? Were you looking for a job in the field? Um, so I finished my undergrad in December of 2013, and I finished with a psychology degree and communication sciences and disorders, so speech pathology. Um, and I needed a job. I wanted to go to grad school for speech pathology, needed a job in the meantime, was going to apply for speech, and found a listing for CARD and was like, hey, this is something in my field, and this is working with kids with special needs. This is what I want to do. Let's try it. So 
Um, about a month before I graduated, I applied, um, went into an interview, and got a technician position. So that's how I started at CARB. So you started as a technician, and now you're a clinical supervisor. Was it hard for you to be continuing your learning while you were being a behavior technician, or was that something that you were up for that challenge? I was up for it. I knew I wanted to work with this population. So, you know, once I saw, too, that CARD has a lot of growing opportunities, and, um, you know, I was loving what I was doing. I love the kids with autism, and I wanted to continue. So that's my my story. (laughs) Well, can I just tell you how appreciated it is? And clearly you've had a ginormous impact, not only at your center, but they, they say five centers from Chicago to California. I know it's been a rough year with, with COVID for the families and, and that all of you have had your own families and things that you've had to deal with. But Janine, in, in, I think it's very telling when the chips are down, when somebody is still putting out their best work and they've said that holding things to a high standard is one of the things that, that, you know, you're, you're towing the line on. I just want to thank you. And I know if Dr. Grant Pichet were here, that she would thank you too for, for living the legacy and continuing to help our families to make progress and the kiddos to make progress. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great weekend, okay? Yeah, you too. Thank you so much for having me. All right. You take okay. care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.